guys, how are you? My name is Shell. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Today, I wanna go over a bunch of different empties that I have, I'm really excited, so let's just get right on into it. So I'm first gonna start off with my hair products. So the first products that I have here are from Amika. Amika is a brand itself I'm really impressed with, but these two products I have bought a few times, and you guys, I gotta say, it's probably, as of right now, my favorite purple shampoo for blondes. I really feel like it helps tone out the brassiness. It really suds up so it makes you feel like your hair is nice and clean. And I can go three to four days if I wash my hair with this and my hair feels really good and really soft. So this is a yes for me. The price is totally worth it. I will look up the pricing for you guys. I'll try to see where I can find it and let me put it right here. So yeah, these you guys, fantastic if you haven't tried amica you gotta try them because i just feel like the brand is awesome sticking with hair products now i'm going in with aveda so this is probably my favorite i'm gonna say it i think this is my favorite hair product i have ever used in my entire years of being a hairstylist i've been doing it for eight eight and a half years now and you guys this is absolutely awesome Quick little story time, real fast. So I went hiking with my best friend up in New Hampshire. And it's funny, we we did two, uh, there was a certain day we did two mountains in one day. And we did like 10 miles and it was like the longest day, but the best day. Anyways, we're coming down the mountain and my elastic broke and I didn't have another one. So I was like, Ugh, cool. So I put it down and she was behind me and she literally was like, dude, are you kidding me? And I'm like, what? And she goes, your hair looks like perfect. This was why I didn't know at first. First of all, she's so nice for saying that. And but seriously, if I can, I'll see if I can find a picture and show you what my hair looked like. It was crazy, you guys like my hair looked like I had just done it that morning and didn't hike for all day. So this product really holds whatever style you want to create with your hair. The heat really locks it in. My hair feels soft when I use it and my hair holds up for like four, sometimes even five days if I'm getting real crazy if I use this. I highly recommend anyone try this. It's called the Fomolian and it's the styling foam from Aveda. So yes if i can find the price on that i will put it bam right here okay so now we're going into body wash so this is magic in the air by bath and body works i love it that it's cruelty free i love the packaging you guys it's so cute i got this during like christmas time isn't it beautiful so the smell of this i absolutely love i did feel like it helped give me moisture on my body and I would absolutely buy this again. So let's get into makeup. The first thing I have is this Morphe eyebrow pencil, and this is in Biscotti. I loved this, you guys. I finished it up actually faster than I thought I would because when I first used it, and I think I tried it on YouTube, and I was kind of like, meh, about it. It is a lighter color. So for me to fill in this part of my eyebrow, you guys, I don't love it with this because it's not dark enough. But to fill in this area, perfect i use this up so fast just filling in these areas i mean maybe there's not a lot of product in here that could not be cool but either way i did use this a lot and i would use it here and it would give me a nice feathered natural looking eyebrow i loved it so i don't know if i'm gonna keep buying from morphe because they keep going through a lot of drama between jeffree star james charles all that nonsense i don't know you guys it's like it's too much so we'll see I like some things from Morphe, but like, I don't know. It's Morphe for me is like so hit or miss and it's usually a miss. This Fenty Beauty Eyeliner, it is just not good. <laughs> so it was really dry. I like right when I bought it, I felt like it was dry. I couldn't get a nice crisp line and I, I like the packaging, but I'm just not impressed with it, you guys. Like, for the money, it's not worth it to me. I have other ones I like way more for way less money. So I like a lot of Fenty products, but this one for me, you guys, it just is not it. Mascara. This is the e.l.f. mascara. I have definitely rubbed it off, but I think it was called the Smudge Proof Mascara. And this one had the lower lash in that little brush right there. This I really liked, but it also had just the normal for the upper lash. And that is what the brush looked like. So... 
this formula just wasn't really that great. I don't feel like it made my lashes look phenomenal. And it, to be honest, it was a pain in the butt to get off at the end of the night. I just, I mean, it wasn't expensive, so that was nice. And I did use it up. It's pretty dried out at this point, but I just didn't really feel like it did anything great for my lashes. I would not buy this again or recommend it. Now, this is an eyeliner everyone knows that I love. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know that. But this is the Palladio Liquid Eyeliner. This is in black brown. And this just dried out again. I'm really, so one thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get rid of liquid, any makeup that's a liquid within, you know, after that year time frame because with my acne prone skin or just around the eyes, I don't want to mess with that. I don't want to put something, I mean, I've, I've infected my eye before with, I think it was actually the eyeliner once years ago. And ever since then, I'm like, okay, got it. And now I'm actually trying to do the same thing with, you know, concealers, foundations, and that. So the liquid eyeliner that I just showed you, I love, I recommend. You can get it at Sally's Beauty. But going into these concealers, so I actually already swatched them for you. So this one right here, let me actually bring you in closer. So this one was the Becca high, um, highlighter, concealer, words. And this one is the Luminous Perfecting Concealer in Fair. That is the packaging right there for you guys. So I didn't like the color of it. I really just, I don't know, wasn't my faves. But it just felt too orange when I would put it on my face. But uh, it wasn't my favorite and didn't really conceal anything. It didn't have any good coverage. And I just really didn't like it. So this is going to go. I did finish up a lot of it, but I've owned it now for a while. So I gotta, it's got to go. This I also think I got a TJ Maxx. I don't even know if they like sell this in Sephora or anything anymore. Now the e.l.f. one is this middle. I'm like flipping you off. Sorry. It's <laughs> this e.l.f. one is the middle one right here. So again, too dark for me, but I love this is the hydrating concealer, you guys. And I really love the formulation of the hydration concealer. The original one is a little too dry for me because for some reason on my under eye, it really just, my under eyes dry out quicker. I don't know why even today, like my skin looks really luminous, but under my eye always like looks a little too dry. And I use way less product. I don't know. Anyway, so I have to be careful with what concealer I have. The hydrating one did work great for that. So I really like this and I actually got a lighter shade in it. So I'm excited to try that one. Now this one is the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Snow, which is this shade right here. This matches me perfectly whenever I use it on my face. I use this a lot when I don't want to put foundation on and I just want to do a little spot concealing. This is awesome for that. It's got great coverage, but it looks natural. It's probably, I don't know if it's my favorite concealer, but it's up there. And the match for me is like perfect. So I actually bought another one of these already because I know I'm going to use it. Now, brow gel. A weird thing that I never thought I'd get into. Everyone talks about it and they're like, you got to do it. It's so much better. It is completely for your eyebrows. I just feel like my eyebrows look better and better as time goes on. But this one, I loved when I first got it. It felt like it had a good hold to it, but as time went on, I just felt like it lost it quickly. So I didn't love this for the price. It was okay, but I am using a gel, right, a brow gel right now that I feel like really has a better hold for my eyebrow hairs. And this one just didn't have that for me. So I would not buy this again. Eyeshadow primer. I think this is literally my favorite eyeshadow base I have ever found. So this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And you guys, I just, this stuff, if I put that on, my eyeshadow is staying on for the entire day. No doubt. And some of my other primers, that's not the case. So I will always be repurchasing this. Right now I have a ton of eyeshadow primers I gotta go through. So I'm gonna use those first. But then I'm gonna buy this again. This stuff is just my favorite. I don't know if I'll ever buy another one now that I, I know that. I think this is just gonna be it once I use the other ones up. We'll see. I'm testing out some new ones right now. We'll see. And lastly, we got skincare. So with my cystic acne, I actually got prescribed this face wash. 
However, you can, it's like over the counter now, you don't have to get a prescription for it. Um, but he recommended this for me along with some other things. But I used this for a while on my face. It re did really, it's very drying. It really rips those oils right out of your face. That's for sure. So I use this. This is the benzoyl peroxide 10% maximum strength one. I guess there's one that's like 4%. And I apparently just went for this one. So yeah, it definitely worked. It was pretty extreme, but I'm glad that I used it because I feel like my skin has really transformed and I think this really helped with that. Now, I actually have one left over because I thought I was gonna have to keep using it, but I don't. Um, but I actually am gonna use it on my back because my back breaks out. Mostly I think from when I'm washing products out, I'm not, you know, in my hair, I'm not really rinsing my body enough. So I'm trying to work on that because I think that's what's happening. So I've been using it on my back and it does help. First Aid Beauty, this is their facial radiance pads and they help exfoliate, tone, and brighten. So these I do like. They're nothing to brag about though. And I've heard that First Aid Beauty is not going to be cruelty free anymore or something's going on with that. If that's the case, I will no longer be buying these. But I do like them and I, I do, you know, if I have them, I enjoy them. So I, if they stay cruelty free, great, go buy them. If they don't, mm, you're out for me. Pacifica Eye Cream. So this is vegan and cruelty free, which is awesome. And I do really like this. I have eye creams I like more than this, but this worked great. It was moisturizing, felt nice on the skin. The price was right. So if you like the brand of Pacifica, go for it, you guys. It's a really good eye cream. I just have other ones I like a little more, but I did enjoy this while I used it. So this is not empty, but I just, I'm going to put it in with this little... Uh, I almost said haul, but that's maybe declutter, we'll say. Um, you guys, I tried to use this for like a week after the video of when I told you about it. It's just not good. It's not. I'm sad because I really want to like Coco Kind because everyone says that they're awesome. But you guys, mm -mm. it just didn't take my makeup off. It smells awful. And I hate the ball, like the squirty thing, like barely works. I don't know. This thing has just aggravated me since the day I got it. So I don't want to give it to anyone because honestly, it smells so bad and it doesn't work great. I don't even want to get into that. So this is just going to go right in the trash. Now, if you have any acne scars, not the like two pitted ones, but the ones that are more surface, this works great for that. This is the Mirad Invisiscar Surfacing Treatment. I used to use this all the time when my acne was still pretty strong. And it really, I believe, did help with my acne scars. So I do recommend this. I don't really feel like I need this so much now. I just think my skincare is doing what it needs to do. But this, I do believe, helped me a lot. So there's actually, um, what the heck is, I, I can't think of what her Instagram name is right now for some reason, but I'm going to put it here. She really uh, struggles with acne as well as I did. And she was the one that actually told me about that. Well, she told everybody about this and I do feel like it helped. And her page alone really helped me a lot. So if you are struggling with acne and you need some positivity, this girl's the best for it. I love that I follow her. And even though my acne is a lot better she I still follow her I think she is a wonderful she just seems like a good soul and she loves makeup so same <laughs> all right you guys and the last product is by Ule Henriksen this is the balancing force oil control toner I truly enjoy this stuff I love the smell of it it's such a clean smell mm like it's like minty and but it's not to me it's not overpowering it didn't break me out or anything like that and it does help control your oil so will I buy this again yes I actually think I'm going to use it in the summer because right now I'm using bam this guy right here love it so much um but I think for the summertime this will really help me a lot so that's it you guys so comment down below, let me know, have you guys tried any of these products? Do you like them, do not like them? And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would super appreciate it so much and please subscribe. I would love to have you here and I will see you guys next week. Bye.